G'day everyone, Connor here from CW's Tech Reviews, back with another video, and today I'm reviewing the Nokia 5. Let's get into it. Now, before I get into the design features of the Nokia 5, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and share this video amongst all your peeps. Now, the first thing we're going to look at with the Nokia 5 is the design. Now, this thing doesn't look too bad. For the price, I was really surprised at the way it looks and the way it feels and how solid it is. Now it's aluminium on the back and 2.5D Gorilla Glass on the front. 2.5D Gorilla Glass is a little bit of a step back in time, but for the look and the price, I really didn't mind at all. You've got your headphone jack up the top of the phone, micro USB and your speaker down the bottom. The display is 282 pixels per inch at 5.2 inches diagonally across and it doesn't look too bad. Apparently it's got some special polarizing over the top of it. I couldn't really tell whether it did or didn't but I was impressed with the display. I was imp impressed with the design in general. A good step in the right direction for Nokia's first few devices. Definitely a thumbs up for design. Now there's a couple of areas where I was a little bit disappointed with the Nokia 5. One of them is the hardware. The engine under the bonnet just, I don't think, is enough for your modern day smartphone. You're looking at a Snapdragon 430 and 2 gigs of RAM. It is an octa-core and is an Adreno 505. However, I just think that Snapdragon 430 and the 2 gigs of RAM just aren't enough to, to push it along. But I'll get into the performance of the device soon enough. For now, I'll just keep looking at the hardware. On the back, you've got a 13 megapixel shooter. On the front, you've got an 8 megapixel shooter. And the front and back cameras both have an aperture of f2.0. So that's not too bad for, the, again, the price point. I'm going to keep referring back to this price point throughout the video because it is very low. As I mentioned in a couple of other videos, one of the new segments within my reviews I'm going to be touching on is security. Because I think it's important in this day and age, and a lot of devices come with varying depths of security for the device, and the Nokia 5 is one of those. To unlock your device, you've got your usual pin, pattern, password that comes with your Android software. And they are what they are, they're no different. The only real thing that sets this device apart from others within that price range is the fingerprint scanner. It works, it's a little bit on the slow side, but it's definitely a good step in the right direction when it comes to security. If you don't want anyone getting into your device without your password, then the fingerprint scan is a go and definitely gets a thumbs up from me. Now the Nokia 5 camera is one of the best for that price point. You're looking, like I said earlier, you're looking at a 13 megapixel camera and some of the photos I was getting within your typical daylight settings were top notch. Not a single problem with them. The only thing was, was the software of the camera was a little bit slow to fire. However, it still was taking some quite good photos. Good light. If things are still, you're going to get a good photo. And where it starts to fall down is when it gets to your uh, twilight or low light settings or conditions. Then you're really going to struggle with this camera and you're better off putting it aside and grabbing your point and shoot in that situation. But definitely in daylight, the camera is great. Now you can record in 1080p on this and that's good enough for any camera these days. So definitely, I'll give the camera a thumbs up. Again, the reason I'm giving it a thumbs up is because of the price point. This in Australia is $329. I think in the US that's probably around $180. I don't know. So you really can't beat that sort of a price. It's a great device for that price point. Now the battery within light use is great. I've been getting 1.5 days worth of use out of it. On light usage I'd say two days. If you're a power user, don't even think about it. Don't even buy the device. But if you're a light user, you're going to get a couple of days out of this, no problems whatsoever. Here's a couple of screenshots of my average sort of use. Now, the software. Nokia, or HMD Global, whatever you want to call them, have gone out of their way to keep this as bare bones as possible. And they have done that. And I'm getting security updates just about as quick as any other device that has pure Android, or even your Pixel devices. However, I mentioned earlier that the Snapdragon 430 and 2 gigs of RAM is not enough to power a modern device or to push it along at a decent rate, and this is where I can prove it. 
the software it just is slow I even have to wait for the messaging app to load and it doesn't open straight in it opens and then the messages load or the phone app it'll open and then the dialing, dialing pad loads after that so you can really see a definite lag and this is where Nokia I think they've come out or HMD Global have come out they've just thrown this out there to see what sort of feedback they get and I reckon the second lot of phones that they release are going to be top notch because they would have learned from this but definitely it is quite slow um, scrolling through lists it's pretty fast or scrolling through a web page it's fast but it's waiting for that web page to load or clicking on an app and waiting for the app to load once things load everything's fine but getting them to load can be a real mission and don't think about doing more than one thing at a time on this device it's definitely one thing at a time no multitasking watch a movie on YouTube stop send a message to someone stop back to your movie to YouTube don't think about doing two things at once because it just won't work now when it comes to my final thoughts on the Nokia 5 I definitely can't say this is for your power user I definitely can't say this is for your photography peeps either this phone is going to be for your beginner user or the person that doesn't really care about um, high-end specs and fast software and magical camera functionality this is for your person that just needs a phone every now and again they'll text someone or take a call maybe take a basic photo uh, I've got to say it it's for the really young or for the really old anyone in between wants this device they want a device that really hums along nicely the Nokia 5 just doesn't quite get there it certainly tries it definitely looks amazing I would recommend this phone to people yes so there's my thoughts my review on the Nokia 5 it's a good starting point for Nokia I can't wait to see their next range of phones or even the Nokia 8 dare I say it, when it is released. The Nokia 5, mid-ranger, I don't know why they bothered with the Nokia 3. The Nokia 6 is very similar to this, just a different camera and a little bit bumped up specs. Uh, so you won't get too much more out of that. So Nokia, welcome back to the market. Let's see what the future holds. Thanks for watching my video everyone. Catch us in the next one.